Welcome back. The Morro Bay 4-H Club's farm was flooded by storms earlier this year, putting their participation in the Mid-State Fair in jeopardy. But thanks to the community support, that is no longer the case. I stopped by the farm to see how things are looking less than a month away from the fair. Hogs are munching, getting groomed, and you know, just rolling in the mud. So we're really excited. Um, all the kids in the club that have livestock projects will be attending the Mid-State Fair. Kids and animals at the farm preparing for the fair seemed impossible five months ago. Here's what the Morro Bay 4-H Club looked like after the heavy storms in January. There was water and mud everywhere. The pig pens were destroyed. Terrible. It was like there was stuff scattered everywhere. This was one area that we were able to um, rebuild and uh, get cleaned up. This is the area where the pigs are uh, housed. The Morro Bay 4-H Club is an example of resilience after suffering approximately $30,000 in damages. We had 25 to 30 members, parents, kids, grandparents come out help clean up, shovel. Only the hogs are at the farm, but the club will also be showing chickens, sheep, and a heifer named Willow. Ava Caton tells me it's her first time taking care of a replacement heifer. It's really fun, first of all, and she's really just a nice animal, and she you could tell that she trusts you when you take care of when you're with her. Max Holden is in charge of his hog, Julia. She loves mud and cookie treats. I walk her for about 10 minutes, 10 to 20 minutes every day, um, and I'm kind of just getting prepared with that. Although there is still work to be done, such as fencing, the team is grateful. We just wanted to say thank you to the community for all the outreach that we were extremely grateful. After this aired in January, it was just overwhelming. And excited for the fair. Take care of animals and learned communication with other people. You have to talk to a lot of people you don't know, and it's just a really fun environment to be in. The kids will take their animals to the fairgrounds starting on July 22nd. Club leaders are hoping to get all the pending repairs at the farm done by this fall.